How are you people and uh, praise the Lord. My name is David Kibera. I'm a pastor at Deliverance Church here in Zimmerman. And I'm here today to just encourage us with uh, a word from uh, uh, scriptures. Because a time like this we need to hear what God is saying. And uh, I come to us just to encourage us that God is concerned about you, concerned about me, concerned about every one of us. Kuna msemo kwa Kiswahili ambao unasema umdhanie siye ndiye ama pia waweza kusema umdhanie ndiye siye. And this is a situation that we get in the book of um, John chapter number 4, the story of the Samaritan woman. Now we have a story here that is so interesting. And Jesus, scripture says, that he is en route to a certain place, but it requires him to go through Samaria. Uh, students of uh, scripture, you would know that the Jews and the Samaritans, they had nothing in common. They needed not to mingle. And so Jesus decides to go through Samaria. And he gets to a point where there is a well. If you get to the book of John chapter number four and you're going to read that account, he gets to a well and this well is a well of Jacob. And he rests there for whatever reason, uh, scripture says that he was tired. And just like I said, Umdaniye si and here, a Samaritan woman comes and she's coming at this hour of the day to fetch some water. And he finds Jesus and little did she know that she had come to the solution of the issues that she had in life. And the engagement with Jesus continues and the long and short is at the end of the day, the Samaritan woman gets to understand that she needed water and not from the well of Jacob but the water that Jesus Christ who comes to this well looking so tired because there was a journey that uh, he had taken had carried and that is the water of life the water that would give the would be given to the Samaritan woman and she would thirst uh, no longer and we are told that after this interaction with Jesus Jesus asks the Samaritan woman who or where is your husband? And that was a question that went right into the core of this Samaritan woman. And finally, she was able to pour out and she gets sorted out. And this day, my take, as we look at this account, is that you could be going through issues. You could be having things in your life. You could be going through even the situation like we have today. But you need to get to a place where you meet this person who you never thought in your wildest of thinking that would be the solution to your issues and your issues could be presenting in a certain way but the solution is in the man of Jesus Christ so whatever it is it doesn't matter how how bad it looks there is one who is able to get to the core there is one who is able to meet you at the very point where you need help and that is Jesus and my, my, my encouragement to us today is that look for Jesus even in places that you would not even expect to see Jesus. He was not supposed to be passing through Samaria, but he comes in other place where the woman was going to fetch water. A Jew, who is not just a Jew, but more than a Jew, the man who had the solutions to the issues of uh, the Samaritan woman, comes in, sorts her out, and voila, her issues, her problems are solved. Are you going through issues today? Look for the man, Jesus. Like I said, umdaniye siye ndiye, ama umdaniye ndiye siye, unaweza kupatana na ye, huyu yesu, na shida zako zote, akazi suluhisha. So today, take courage, take confidence, be encouraged that Jesus is about to come your way. You will find him in the places that you least expected. He could be coming through um, the situation that we're in, he could be coming through a sister or a brother, so be careful. Jesus might just be visiting by. The Lord bless you. Be keen to see Jesus in places that you could not even expect because he is the king of kings. He understands you, he knows your needs, and he's coming your way. The Lord bless you and keep you. Amen.